Hello, and welcome to chapter two, section eight, least common multiple. A multiple are, is the answer when you multiply. For example, multiples of five are five, 10, 15, 20, that kind of thing. Um, these are numbers that are bigger than the original number, or the same as, but bigger than the original number that you started with. Um, so these are all five or bigger here. That's what a multiple is. Greatest common factor, the factors are the small numbers you multiply together to get that. So a factor of 12 would be three and four, but a factor of, no, a multiple of 12 would be 24, 36, 48. It's really easy to get those confused. So. When we're looking for the least common multiple, we want to find the smallest multiple that they have in common. Now, the old way that you used to do this was that you wrote down all the multiples and you circled the common one. And so here's what it looked at like for 10 and 14. You'd write down all the multiples for 10 and all the multiples for 14 until you found the one that they have in common. And you circled that. Well, we have factor trees now. We don't have to do it that way anymore. Now, we're gonna build factor trees. And this looks a lot like greatest common factor, so I don't want you to get it confused, okay? We're gonna start by circling the common ones and multiplying those together just like greatest common factor, but then we're also gonna multiply the leftovers because realize we have to get a number that's bigger than these two numbers. So we start out with factor trees. We have 10 and we have 14 and we've broken them down. So we're gonna circle the numbers that they have in common. They both have a two, we're gonna write down a two. And then we're gonna pull in the leftovers. There's a five left over here, and there's a seven left over here. Two times five times seven, that's the same as 10 times seven, that's 70. So the greatest common, no, nope, the least common multiple of 10 and 14 is 70, and you didn't have to write them all down. You just had to keep track of your stuff. Let's try it again. I've got 12 and I've got 15 and we need the least common multiple. So it's a number that's gonna be bigger than this that both 12 and 15 go into. So we're gonna start with a factor tree. This is three times four and that's two times two. This is three times five. So we're gonna start by seeing what they have in common. Right now, they've got a three in common. I'm gonna write that down. And then we're gonna write down all the other. Now, if they had another number in common, we'd, call, we'd, we'd pull that too. And then we pull down every number that they don't have in common. And we multiply all these out. So this is six times 10, this is 60. Okay? All right, what happens if we have three or more numbers we have to factor together? So. First, we're gonna start by making a factor tree. This is three times nine, which is three times three. This is five times nine, which is three times three. For this, you can circle if only two of them have in common since you have to use all the numbers. So here we have one, three in common. We'll write that down. Then they have another three in common. We'll write that down. Then we pull out all of the leftovers. And look at what I do to them so I can keep track. But all I have to do now is multiply these together and you've got your answer. So I know that three times three is nine. I know that two times five is 10 and nine times 10 is 90. And now I've got a three left over that nine times three is 27, so that's 270. It's really easy if you can keep track of what your numbers are doing. Now, if this was confusing to you, rewind it and watch the three to, again that I did for you so you can really kind of get the gel, okay? All right. Now, word problems with least common multiples. What they look like is you have one group with one rate. Carlo walks one lap in four minutes. 
and you have one group with another Ray. Ray walks one lap in six minutes, and the question is, when will they meet up, or when will they hit the starting line together, or when, you know, something like that. That's least common multiple. So you're going to find the least common multiple of four and six. So let's do that really quick. Four and six. Four is two times two. Six is two times three. So there's a two in common. We're going to write that down, and there's a two, and there's a three. So the least common multiple of four and six is 12. And that's the first time that four and six are going to meet each other. All right? Give this a shot. You've got six to practice one, six and nine, 16 and 20, nine and 12, 24, 36 and 48, 10, 15, 18 and 20, 14, 21, 35 and 70. Give them a shot. Uh, come back tomorrow with the answers and we'll see how you did. Okay? Good luck. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow.